good morning everyone happy thursday what's going on check out where we are today we are looking at the reflections hendrickson lake hendrickson park check out the reflections on the water Who's getting on this morning? Who's getting on this morning? How's everyone doing today? All right, who's sleeping over here? So today, the force of average is getting strong. We, uh, we dwindled today. We don't even have the shadow today. Nope, no shadow at all. So uh, we're over here at Hendrickson Lake, getting things done, getting our ride in. Totally didn't put a hat on today. Walked out without one. It's all good. So we uh, got our Break Free Academy shirt on today. All right, where's everybody? Let's go, let's go. We want to get the message going. So this morning, let's talk about, so my friend Donna, <coughs> one of my advisors in my life, uh, talked about my message and she says I need to ground it in the Bible. I said, all right. And she talks about, uh, I've sent her some Break Free Academy, Apex type stuff. <clears throat> and she says, yeah, those people are all great, but they need to, uh, they need to ground themselves in the Bible. So I turned on Ryan Stuman's podcast this morning and he's talking about, uh, building your foundation and referencing in the Bible, uh, about building your house on sand building your house on rock and that when the storm comes the house built on rock will stay and the house built on sand will fall so he talks about in life kind of what we talked about yesterday who are you what do you stand for what are your morals and do you have integrity so if we talk about integrity we talk about what will you do when no one is watching what will you do when no one is watching? Will you be that strong person that people can rely on? Does your word mean something? Um, I was recently faced with a situation a couple months back where I had, I call him a friend, but I think, uh, I don't really like using the term friend for what happened. Um, an associate uh, wanted to buy, uh, associate's friend wanted to buy one of my properties. And in the bidding process, he asked me to bury bids so that he could get the winning bid. And I really had a problem with this because when I list a property, um, I have fiduciary respons responsibility to take care of my clients and uh, get my clients top dollar. And that's what I do every time. So when this quasi friend, because again, I don't like to use the term friend for someone that puts you in this position, uh, when I wouldn't play his game and I wouldn't, uh, you know, go against my morals, uh, he stopped talking to me. And I kind of thought that was uh, kind of shady. Um, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'd rather have my integrity than a so-called friend. Um, so what do you stand for? What do you stand for when no one was looking? No one would have known if I didn't present the offer. And let his offer be the highest but I would have known God would have known and uh, what do you stand for can people rely on you um, to me that was a test that was a test of my integrity and um, you know I don't know so one less person in my life that wasn't a true friend and I had my integrity and my clients got top dollar for their property so just a real world example of who you are, what you believe in. Um, so what Ryan talked about in his podcast, the Rewire podcast, um, is build your, build your foundation on stone, integrity, morals, and uh, let you be the rock for the people in your life 
Let people know that they can trust you. Let people know they can rely on you. Let people know that you're there to help them. Um, so then, speaking of Bible, I have a Bible app that um, my friend Donna sent me. Love her. Uh, and I turned it on this morning. And they're talking about the greatest commandment. And the greatest commandment <clears throat> is to love God with all your heart and all your strength. And love only one God. But then the second part of that is to love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor like yourself. Love your neighbor like you love God. Um, so I kind of thought it was kind of interesting. So she's telling me yesterday how my messages need to be grounded in the Bible. So Ryan jumps on and starts talking about a Bible verse where building houses on sand and on rock. And how the ones that built on rock will, will survive the storm. And the ones built on sand will collapse. So those of us out there that have built foundations in life of integrity and uh, honor, trust, um, will survive any situation. And those of us that built our lives on lies, deceit, and uh, whatever else, will crumble when a storm comes. So, um, yeah, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting how, how life works, how, how Bible stuff shows up today in my life. And uh, both of them have the same message between Ryan and uh, the app when I turn the app on. Um, to love your neighbor. To be that person that people can count on. And love your neighbor and help your neighbor love God. So anyway, that's the message for the day. Who are you when no one's watching? How is your foundation built? Think about that. Think about that. Make good choices. Mark always makes it into my morning, morning message. So... All right, so Janine just got on. She's slacking today. FYE, Jean, Janine, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Love you. So um, let's get into prayers. Uh, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed is thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Dear God, help my friends and family in the world live with integrity. Let them do the right thing when no one is watching. Um, please uh, guide everyone in their thoughts and their actions, that they can make good choices. And we thank you for everything you provide in the world. Thank you for beautiful sunrises, beautiful lakes, beautiful trees, beautiful reflections on the water, beautiful friends in my life, beautiful people that <clears throat> guide me along the journey. Um, thank you for my beautiful children. Thank you for all the people that are on here every morning. Thank you for your support. Appreciate it. Um, we're all in this together. We're all in this together. We're here to help each other. We're here to love each other. We're here to support each other. So we ride at dawn all day, every day. Get out there and ride. FYE, no excuses. All day, every day. Do the right thing. Have integrity. All right, everyone. God bless. Tomorrow is Friday. I didn't want some people to come ride with me tomorrow morning. Um, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Love you too, Benny. Right, everyone go change the world today god bless